Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Now I have to review the Spongebob episode, The Curse of the Hex. So you see it on part of the Legends of Bikini Bottom miniseries. So this miniseries from season 7, it's been airing uh, throughout, and this is the last episode, I think, in, in, in season 7 that's airing, that it just aired. It's just this season has 50 episodes, yeah. I think this is the last one, according to the Pie Guy, uh, I'm talking to the Pie Guy uh, every episode of season 7 reviewed. I checked out the uh, the say, out of 50, how... Uh, which I'm a um, number on how on when the episode aired. I think it's yeah. I think it was fifty fifty. So that I think that means this is the last episode in season seven that was aired. Not perfect chemistry at all. So let's continue with the review. So the episode begins off with a crazy little hash a hagfish lady comes to the Krusty Krab after after the customers are pretty much blown away. <laughs> so she she wants to order, but uh, Miss but Scribbert actually. Actually, he stopped with the cash register and is about to leave. So he gets angry at her. So as well as Mr. Krabs, and they asked her not to order because we pretty much are done with it, even though she's hungry. So since SpongeBob feels bad about it, so she he get he uh, secretly flips up some patties, uh, put it in his back, and next and next yeah he decided to give it to the back of the vision uh, secretly. And next time uh, Mr. Krabs will find out about it. The next the hagfish curse the crusty crab. So, so, Mr. so SpongeBob is paranoid about this, and next Mr. Krabs is like, "Don't worry, SpongeBob, curses are not real." And next time, there's some signs that uh, there might be a curse because there's no customers at all. And next time, uh, and next there's actually a burned part of the Krusty Krab, and the grill's burning. So as Mr. Krabs is money, and and Squidward leaves, and so, so yeah, it's pretty much uh, one of the signs where it might be an actual curse in the Krusty Krab. So Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob try to go there to the hagfish part. Hackfish place, and next time I try to make things right. So the only way for her to fix back the curse is for, is for her, is for them to get the, uh, coin from the big giant eel. So they go to the eel's place, and next, uh, we start a little battle, and, and next time it get ru it's ruined by a swan ball just punching it, uh, just only one punch, and next it frees Mr. Krabs. They they punch him again to get, for him to choke out the. The uh, coin, so Mr. Krabs want to get it, they give it to the hagfish, and use the twist the whole time. So essentially, this whole thing is actually a closed sign. Uh, keep in mind, guys, we never saw a closed sign in the beginning uh, of the part where where um, the hagfish cursed the crusty crab. We never saw it. If it was a, uh, I reversed the spell, like, pfft, that'd be, that makes sense, but have a closed sign? No, it doesn't make sense. So the episode ends off with uh, everyone going back to the Krusty Krab, and next Mr. Krabs will have a discussion that, that the curses are not real until the giant eel comes and everyone just escapes. The end. That's pretty much the end of the Krusty the Hex. So this episode has a great premise, but I didn't particularly like the fact that uh, the twist was actually a close sign. That was just kind of a lame twist. And the writers, I think, were really trying this one. Just like Welcome to Bikini Mon Triangle, while the rest of the miniseries, they weren't trying that much. I think um, they tried to make something new, but uh, it does uh, get for me a C plus on the entertainment scale. But oh, for one of my rating for uh, room for improvement with the Casa Grandes, it's actually an, a nine out of ten, and that was actually a, a B plus on my rating skill. So this one, yeah, it gets C plus six out of ten, strong six, yeah. So that's pretty much a kind of a, one more disappointing episode in this in the season. But one, not not one of the worst. Uh, at least I can sit through this one, just like Welcome to Bikini Mountain Triangle. This and that episode has some amusing moments. So yeah, please um, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, share the channel around, guys. We just need more subscribers so we can hit up with a 40 subscriber celebration video. I got a big surprise for you. It's the last episode review, actually. Uh, four episodes. This is uh, how it will go. Every uh, time we have a 40... Or have, I'm gonna say... Uh, like say 50 or 60 i'm gonna say whatever call we do like say power in it uh for 21 uh it's actually a spawn loud house and next to 31 spongebob so when we get to 40 we get to loud house so it's pattern by pattern guys so that's pretty much um my review for the curse of the hex this is uh, one more okay episodes of the season it's it's the it's an okay one to sit through but not one of my favorites of the season uh, thanks guys for watching and please share this around guys and please for and don't forget to watch the first two videos of the legends of bikini bottom mini series that i, I just did a breakdown on thanks guys goodbye